What's up, Pack Warehouse fans? Jake here bringing you this week's episode of What's New with TW. I got a bunch of exciting stuff for you today. We got some truck accessories, we got some new uh, summertime fishing gear, and we got some new swim bait rods. So let's jump right into it with a new series of swim bait rods by Okuma. This is the Okuma Guide Select Custom Series. So these were custom designed rods that were built specifically for Tack Warehouse and they're exclusive to us only. So we have the Guide Select Custom and then we have the Guide Select Custom Black, which is this one right here with the black shrink wrap handle. So uh, a bunch of the guys in our office, we put our heads together. We started this project about a year ago and worked on a series of swim bait rods with uh, a bunch of features that we really wanted to see. And uh, we got a, uh, a series of rods and Okuma made them for us and we can't be happier with how they came out. We're super, super stoked about it. Uh, there's three models in the lineup. There's a heavy, extra heavy, and a double X heavy. Pretty much covers the whole range from like your six inch swim baits up to you know your big eight, 10 inch soft baits, big glide baits, stuff like that. Uh, you know, pretty much has the whole range covered for what you would need. Uh, so one of the first things we addressed when we were designing this series of rods is the handle length. And uh, one thing we we're really particular about was going to be the handle length between uh, the bottom of the reel seat here and then the end of the link itself. So we feel it's about the perfect length. It tucks in there just right and you don't end up with a, you know, a bunch of wasted blank behind you, but you don't have that real short blank where you're not really getting a lot of leverage. So that longer handle going to give you great leverage when you're casting the bait and then also setting the hook as well. Um, up on the reel seat, exposed reel seat, it's super, super comfortable. Um, a nice locking nut up here on the top. We didn't want to have a foregrip on there, uh, just wanted to keep it nice, low, pro, and compact. Uh, another feature that we were super particular about was this keeper on here. We asked Okuma to put the biggest, beefiest keeper that they got, and they for sure delivered. So it's got kind of a modified D-bend shape on there, and it's just, it's single, double wrap, super, super heavy duty. So I, I believe every single one of my swim bait rods that I've had for years, the keeper systems are completely uh, blown out on them. They bend, they break, uh, they just, they can't hold up. To the leverage of having heavy duty line, a big swim bait and have everything cranked down there, uh, you know, traveling, you know, rough boat rides. This is going to hold up for you. We've also mounted it to the side of the rods, the rod itself, just to keep those tails and stuff kind of out of the way of the reel. We know that, you know, sometimes if you have a keeper system that's mounted up on the top of the rod or even the bottom, you know, those tails can run into the trigger. Or more importantly, you know, they, those tails can get into the reel and bend the tails of your expensive swim baits and that's just something that you don't want. On the guides, we went with double wrap guides all the way to the top. So super heavy duty, it's gonna last you, it's gonna be able to you know, take all that abuse from swim bait fishing, heavy line, braided line, whatever you're gonna use. No single foot guides all the way up to the end of the rod. 7-Eleven uh, in length, so it fits into most of your rod lockers. And then the two different options we have, we have the, uh, the shrink tube kind of ha uh, shrink tube handle, and then we also have the cork handle. Uh, that was one of the features when we were having meetings about this. We all fought back and forth, back and forth, and could never decide between EVA, shrink tube, or cork. So we have two options, uh, so everyone was happy on it. Um, I mean, the, like I said, these things cover just about every style of swim bait you'd ever want. Um, we've already bought a bunch of them. The guys in our warehouse, or inside our office, we were checking them out, and we already probably got a dozen of them uh, when they first came in, when we forgot the first production models of them. So we're super stoked about it. We're going to have some more in-depth coverage on these in the future, so make sure to check out or stay tuned for that in the future. Next up from Six Cents, we got their new Bosa Ribbon Tail Worm. This is a really cool worm. I mean, summertime, it's big worm season. Everyone's out, you know, Carolina rigs, uh, big worms, big jigs, crankbaits on the, on the ledges and stuff like that. Got to have a big worm in your arsenal. Uh, what I like about this worm that Sixth Sense did, just something a little bit different than a lot of ones on the, uh, on the market, is they really cut out a lot of plastic up here on the top of the body. So it's really deep, really heavy ribbing, and so it's going to push a lot of water. Um, down here on the tail, the, the material, really nice, thin, subtle, so it's going to get great swimming action. And then at the very end of the tail, they put kind of this bulbous, uh, you know, ring tail on there. So... When this thing's just sitting, when you're pausing it and that tail's fluttering down, you're just gonna get a little bit extra action and then that'll help catch a little bit of water. Whenever your worms pause to give you a little bit of that, you know, secondary action if the fish are being really pressured and you just need something, you know, a little bit more finessey to trigger a bite. So, uh, you know, get yourself some, some 10 inch worms, get out there, catch some big ones this time of the year. 
uh, you know, other great summertime baits, you know, top waters, deep cranks, uh, you know, pretty much a staple all summer long. So from Head and Lures and Norman Lures, we have a couple more of these as well. We got some new blank lure kits. And uh, so we got the Head and Super Spook Junior kit, and then we have a Norman DD22 kit. We've also have a, uh, a Deep Lillian kit, and then we have a Booyah blank crankbait kit. So they all, they're all just about the same. So they come with uh, you know six pack of blanks inside the package, but they come with everything you need to outfit it once you're done uh, creating your own lure. So if you want to paint them up however you want, they got the eyes in there, they got the terminal in there with the split rings and the hooks, and they've even put packaging in there if uh, in there as well. If you want to package them, you know throw them on a pegboard so they don't get dusty, uh, just you know keep them on reserve. But something super cool. Um, I'm super pumped about the DD22s. Um, I've done DD22s forever. And there's so many old colors that they've discontinued that I'm definitely going to try to recreate. So if you guys are at-home lure makers, like to paint up your own stuff, uh, we got a couple options for you from uh, Norman, Booyah, and then we got the Head and Super Spook Juniors as well. All right, a couple new cranks here from ARC. So we, this first one here, uh, this Team ARC CMT-10. This is a really cool crankbait. Uh, you know, we, we were waiting for this thing to come in. I was not expecting it to be this compact and small. So... Um, you know, I think it's a, only about an inch and three quarter long, so it's a crazy compact bait, but it dives down to 10 feet. So you're going to get great casting distance and uh, just great diving depth out of this small little compact bait and just get you down there to where, uh, to, to where the fish are at. Uh, you know, on the paint jobs on these things, they have incredible paint jobs, and then they come with Mustad triple grip hooks on there. Uh, so a phenomenal crankbait, ready to fish right out of the box. And... When you see these things in the package, you know, they look like $15, $20 crankbaits and they come in at $8.99. And then they have their regular CT series. So these ones have the magnetic weight transfer in them. So these ones, you know, fly like a bullet. Then they have that nice little rattle to them, a little clicking sound. So it's the same body shape as their as their CT square bill. But now, you know, outfitted with that round that rounded lip. So they got an eight-foot diver, 12-foot diver. So whatever kind of depth range you need. Again, same hardware on them and premium paint jobs you know, 3D gill plates on there. So, you know, really cool crankbait. Again, comes in at $8.99. Really can't beat the deal on those. Make sure you guys check out all the, the Team Arc hard baits. They've got some really cool stuff, and I think they kind of fly under the radar. So from Chompers, uh, we got a couple baits here. This first one is their Techno Tube, and I held off on pulling this one out of the package. Uh, Tom did a couple of these last week, and these are some greasy baits. You can see all the liquid and the scent and the salt that are inside. Uh, you know, inside this package of baits. But this Techno Tube is something a little bit different and really cool. Uh, so it's got a skirt kind of molded into the head of the bait. And so kind of think of it as like your hula grub, but in a tube version. So when you rig it up, you put, you know, you rig it up on like a Texas rig and you put your bullet weight up on the top of it. Now you have that full skirt profile, but it's all molded into one. And they got some super cool colors as well. So they have, you know, some green pumpkins with chartreuse skirts, uh, something that's definitely going to catch a lot of fish. Um, going to be great for, you know, flipping grass and flipping uh, brush and stuff like that. If you like to flip tubes, just something to give you a little bit more action, a little bit bigger profile. And like I said, loaded with scent. Uh, they got garlic scent in there, salt. So when they buy it, they are not letting go of that thing. And then we got their tube weights. So just an alternative rigging method for your tubes out there. So what these do is you put these, uh, you put these weights up inside the tube and then you have that little hole right there inside the middle of the weight. And what that does is allow you, it allows you to, to run that hook right through the hole and it, while it's inside the tube and then rig up it, you know, EWG style hook completely weedless. So now you can, you can flip your regular tubes, uh, you know, into, into vegetation and you have that fully uh, weedless profile and the weight is hidden inside the tube. So keeping that profile um, super small and compact because if you, you know, you can put a, you can put a, a a bullet weight up on the head, but then that's extending the profile. And if you're really trying to keep that, you know, really small, compact, subtle, uh, subtle profile when you're flipping, especially if you're flipping really uh, clear water, this is a great option. Definitely should check it out from Chompers. Uh, some really cool stuff there. We got a bunch of new products from Chompers. Make sure to head over to the website, check them all out. All right, next up from Starbright, we got Salt Off. So this is going to be a must-have for anyone fishing salt water, even if you fish, you know. Uh, you know, those tidal fisheries where you have brackish water, this is going to be a must-have. You know, throw it in the truck. It's just going to help save some of your gear. So you can use this on boats. You can use it on your tackle. 
You can use it on your rods and reels. Um, super easy to use. You just spray it on. It bonds with all that salt water and you can spray it right off. You can actually, you can also just spray it, uh, spray it and leave it on. It'll help, uh, it helps protect all your equipment. And you can also use this as a motor flush. So really cool. If you fish any kind of salt water, I mean that, the salt water just tears gear apart. I do a lot of salt water fishing and it's imperative that, you know, as soon as you get out of there, you know, you gotta, you gotta rinse that stuff off. You gotta treat it, your tackle, your rods and reels, everything, protect your investments or else it's just gonna end up costing you in the long run. So pick up some of the new salt off from Starbright. Last up, we got this monster from BMW. So not a new product, but we just got these in to tackle warehouse. If, I don't know if I could hold it up for the rest of the episode. These things are heavy duty. So we started carrying the BMW trailer hitches. We have them in a few different options. Uh, we have the two inch shank, the two and a half inch shank uh, with the adjustable three ball, uh, three ball hitches. And then we have a standard three ball as well. Um, these, you know, rock solid. They're built with American made steel and they're made in America as well. Uh, you know, probably going to be the last hitch you would ever buy. If I didn't have an old, if I had a new truck and I didn't have an old truck and my hitch is pretty much rusted onto the back, I'd be buying one of these right now. Um, but the, the beauty of these hitches, you know, they're, they're highly adjustable. So um, you can pull these pins out and you can flip the balls uh, underneath, underneath the hitch here and stow them away so they're not sticking out behind your truck. And then you can adjust the height and then each of them come with three different size balls on them as well. You got a, a one and seven eighths, a two inch, and I believe a two and five sixteenths. Uh, so if you, if you have a bunch of different trailers, uh, you have pretty much everything you would need to tow different kinds of trailers and then trailers that are of different heights. Maybe you got two trucks and you, you know, one truck rides a little bit taller than the other one. You can just move the hitch over, adjust the height on there. Super cool. Like I said, last hitch you're probably ever going to buy. Uh, you know, pretty much all the pros on tour are running these things. Definitely want to have one. You know, you have a hundred thousand dollar truck. $100,000 boat, the last thing you want to be doing is towing it with a cheap, uh, a cheap hitch on the back. So pick up one of these from B&W. That's going to wrap up today's episode of What's New Attack. We'll ask for more information or to purchase any of these products seen here today. Make sure to click shop or link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.